Baskowitz, I'm the acting, acting Director of Admissions. Um, and I just want to congratulate all of you. We've worked really hard to get to this point. And uh, Jamie and I had the pleasure of making sure all of your detailed documents were in and punching the numbers and all that. So it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad you made it to this point. Um, one of the things that you need to know is that you all need to register for your Nursing 101 who are starting in the fall by June 2nd. And there may be some glitches in doing that, so I'm going to have Jamie talk to you a bit about um, what those glitches could be, how to solve them, and how to uh, facilitate that along. <coughs> I just want to say we owe her a great deal of um, Thanks, because she is the one who did the bulk of this work. Um, she, many of you, if you ever met Jamie, raise your hand. <laughs> so, can we give her a little round of applause? I'm going to leave my business card on the table in case anyone is having any difficulties registering, let me know. Um, a couple of things that would get in the way of being able to register. Number one, if you are taking a 2 right now at a college other than Three Rivers, we need your transcript by January, I'm sorry, June 2nd. Um, that is reason for disqualification from the nursing program if you didn't get your C plus or higher. And if you're not taking it here, we're not going to know unless you get us that transcript. So we need an official transcript as soon as possible. Um, how many of you are taking AMP2 right now? Okay. Um, this goes for students starting in the spring as well. I need those transcripts for AMP2 if they're not from three rivers. And I need them by June 2nd. Second thing, if you are taking microbiology or psychology someplace else other than Three Rivers right now, or if you're going to take them in the summer or the fall, we're going to need those transcripts. Um, when you go to register for Nursing 101, it thinks of microbiology and psychology as a co-requisite course. So if the computer system doesn't sense those courses somewhere, it's not going to allow you to register for it. So we need your transcripts so that we can get those in there for it to allow you to register. Um, so th that's really the only glitch that would happen if something else does happen though. I am going to leave my business card here, so just give me a call or an email, um, preferably email. Like Sue said, there's a lot of you and it can be difficult to get to all those calls. Um, but I, I'm more than willing to work with you to try to figure out what the issue may be. Alright? Yeah? Um, what is for LPN starting in the third semester, next, not this fall, but next fall? Do we have to register for anything to say? Are you in the, the spring semester? At LPN. Fall of 2015. But when were you, which semester were you accepted for? Fall or spring? 14. You're accepted for fall of 14? Right. Um, but they said I wouldn't start classes until fall of 15. If, if you successfully complete the bridge, yes. yes. Um, I'm going to be working with anybody doing that bridge okay. program a little bit separately. Okay. Um, I, I need to talk to Edie to, to figure that out a little okay. bit. Um, because we do need to, it is going to be pending complete, successful completion of the bridge if that goes through or not. Right. All right. Okay. Any other questions for me before I hand this back over? Okay. Register for spring. What's the date? December 1st is the deadline to register for spring classes. So if you, you don't want to wait till past that registration, opens for the spring for nursing students November 3rd, I believe. And those dates are all in your acceptance packets. Um, so if you don't remember them, go back to those acceptance documents that you received. Hi. If you um, wasn't sure, like, um, there's an option to get into the fall, but if you had um, registered for a class or fall, just so if you're um, registered, um, would that, is there a penalize that we make together? Do the nursing, you have to drop on your class, you have to major. When you switch the amount of credits, it, if you switch from one class to another and you don't change the amount of credits you're in, there's no penalty, fees, anything like that that you're responsible for. Now, if you take an additional course, <coughs> that's going to increase the amount of money you owe. If you go down in credits, so say you were originally registered for 12 credits, 
and you go down to eight credits, since that's what Nursing 101 is, mm -hmm. you would, the fees are non-refundable, so there would be a slight difference between the eight and the 12 credits for fees that you would be responsible for. So regarding that, um, if you're registered for a four-year course in the fall, it be full-time, do you recommend us dropping that course because it's a nursing course? Because the principals aren't set yet? Um, I think I'm gonna. That's a program. I think, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna refer that one to, to the nursing faculty in terms of what you may want to do there. Um, we do highly recommend taking muscle biology before you do your nursing one on one. Um, I think most of you have arranged to be able to do that. Um, and if there is anybody who isn't yet registered for microbiology or needs a seat in microbiology, please contact me as soon as possible. Um, I think I do have two seats left in microbiology for the fall if anybody needs them. Um, you wouldn't just be able to register for that on your own without contacting me, though. All right? Thank you. Thank you.